Oh my, no. Hi. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. We're here for David Walliams' Ice Monster, chapters three and four. Now, remember, you do have to pay attention because at the end you're going to have to some que answer some questions. Now, in those questions, um, there's a very specific thing I ask you to do each time. Hmm. Are you ready? Let's find out. You, meaning every single one of you, have to answer all these questions in complete sentences. Very good, guys. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started with chapters three and four. Chapter three, Pong. Now, if you remember when we spoke before, uh, when we read some other books, Pong, we decided was a smell, right? Very stinky. All right, chapter three, Pong. Elsie ran and ran and ran as fast as she possibly could. She didn't dare look back. She was free, but alone. And now she had to fend for herself on the streets of London. Even though she'd never been outside the orphanage before, the big city was a scary place, especially for a little girl. Danger lurked in every corner. Soon enough, though, Elsie taught herself how to steal food from the market stalls. As for a bed, she found an old tin bath to sleep in and used old newspapers as sheets. In her mind, Elsie pretended that she was a grand four-poster bed fit for a queen. With no home or family, Elsie was what was known as an urchin. Victorian London was teeming with them. Elsie the urchin, Pong. Elsie had never, ever had a proper bath. Maggot baths only make you dirtier. Never washed hair that looked like a mop. Dirty hands, grubby feet, big, too big coat borrowed from a washing line, filthy monkey feet, two small trousers, thick with grime, no shoes, jumper that was more holes than jumper. It should really just be called a holes. Elsie didn't look much like a hero. However, as you will soon discover, heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Chapter four, Expert Thief. Read all about it, ice monster found in the Arctic. Living in the streets of London has its advantages. You slept under the stars. You ate all the fresh fruit and vegetables you could swipe. Best of all, you were the first to know about everything. News spread fast, and this was big news. Having never been to school, Elsie couldn't read or write. However, the newspaper sellers would holler the headlines to passers-by. Find this of the century, ice monster discovered at the North Pole. Monster found buried in the ice. History made as long dead ice monster dug up. Ice monster frozen solid. 10,000 years old, says expert. Could this be true? A real life monster? 10,000 years old too? Elsie was old enough to know that monsters weren't real and young enough to believe that they might just be. The girl had just swiped an apple off of a market stall for her breakfast. Munching contentedly, she wove her way back through the march of top a gentlemen heading for work until she reached the newspaper stand. Get lost, you little thief, shouted the newspaper seller. He whacked the girl on the back of her head with a rolled up copy of the Times. Thwack! You got whacked by grown-ups every day if you were an urchin. You were the lowest of the low. At least it made a welcome change from being battered with a broomstick at Wormley Hall. I only want to look, pleaded Elsie. These papers is not for looking at, they is for buying. Now scram! Before I give you a kick where the sun don't shine. Not being a fan of a boot up the bottom, Elsie smiled at the man and ambled off down the street. She turned into an alleyway, then reached into the back of her grubby trousers and pulled out a copy of the Times. The girl had been become an expert thief. There were big, bold black letters in front of the page. Elsie knew these words, these spelled out words, but it all looked like a jumble to her. The picture underneath did speak to her, though. 
It was of a peculiar creature that looked like an elephant. Once she poked her head through the flap in the circus tent to get a free show and seen an elephant performing tricks. However, this elephant was covered in thick hair and its tusks were long and curved. It was encased in a huge block of ice and a number of Arctic explorers were standing around it, looking proud. Despite the creature's bizarre appearance, Elsie found it hard to think of the poor thing as a monster. Monsters you were scared of. This animal you wanted to hug. It looked a great deal smaller than the elephant she'd seen at the circus. Perhaps it was a baby. Despite having been dead for thousands of years, it still looked lost and alone. An orphan, whispered Elsie to herself, just like me. All right, my friends, that does it for today's questions. Now, you do have a task where you're going to be looking up the definition of a word. So, you know how to do that. You can go to dictionary.com on your device. You can go to being.com and you can do a search for the word to find out what it means. All right, best of luck to you. And remember, when you're done, you must click. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I want you to shout that out. To, in order to be done, once you've answered all the questions and done all the activities, you must click submit. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow for chapters five and six. Have a great day. <laughs>